Welcome back to the Creator Create Devlog, and I thought I'd just make a video to give you an update on all the stuff I've been working on lately. One of the most exciting changes this month is um, big improvements to the smoke system. So now there's a lot more self options for you. You can light things on fire and hide in the clouds of smoke. You can use the smoke to block lasers. In addition to hiding from human enemies, you can also hide from cameras. And um, the most exciting thing is you can push smoke around with the fan. And um, I think this will give players a lot more flexibility in whether they want to sneak around or fight enemies directly. So there's good news and bad news. The good news is now you can get a sniper rifle. The bad news is it's attached to a sniper. But you can use that new smoke system to hide from the sniper, so maybe they won't kill you. There's some big changes coming back through the robotic section after the gravity's turned off now. So clackers convert into a zero gravity mode where they shoot at you with massive rockets. And these can break walls which trigger our other new enemy, the zappers. These stay in their hives until they detect destruction. This can be eating an item or a wall destroyed. And then three of these robots come out and attack you with lasers. And these can be pretty hard to survive, so you'll have to be careful not to eat anything near the hives. I've made big improvements to the experience of getting new items, especially the Bunsen burner and acid, where I've added some mini tutorials that are pretty similar to the knife tutorial that was already in the game. And I've also made new item sequences that really show off when you get a new item. Now there's two reasons for this. Obviously I want more polish in the game so that people get excited about the new items they have. But it also serves the role of communicating with the player because I'd seen people pick up the acid and then immediately forget they had it and never really use it. So the other more functional purpose of these item introductions is to really cement pe in people's minds this is an exciting new item and it's probably going to be useful for me. Now there's a reinforcement bar on the mech fight to more clearly communicate that destroying mechs actually will help you get through this section. I've also been focusing on making the game more intense and exciting from the start. So all of the humans have been tweaked to make them faster, there's more guards, they shoot you faster, the scientists run away faster. But this is also balanced by a shorter starting area and an extra checkpoint in the Bunsen burner area. Another big change this month is the addition of a damage modifier to help adjust the difficulty for players who need it. Now, in making this, I decided to still have a recommended intended difficulty because personally, as a player, I really like it when designers have a very clear intended experience that the game is balanced for and so that players who don't need it don't really have to think about what difficulty am I going to choose. But it's also important for me to have that setting there because I recognize that every player is coming from a different place and what is difficult for one person is impossible for another. And this um, goes all the way towards total invincibility with a few exceptions if, for players who need it. Um, but at the same time, you can also crank it way up so it allows for super hard modes for players who really want that extra challenge. I'll leave you with the most important feature. Now the broom can sweep up all of the giblets and debris to really keep that station tidy. Thank you so much for watching and have a great week.